Welcome back everybody to Undertale. When we left off, <laughs> we had a huge mess where I had to reset and get back to kind of where we were um, because I didn't do the thing right. I wasn't doing the actual genocide run. So I got back to where we were um, and the thing is I gotta kill everybody. So what I'm gonna try to do is for this episode just see what it's like, you know, just doing commentary the whole time as I am killing everything. So as we see, I beat Undyne and now I am here. I noticed that I can go up- oh, I can't go up this way yet. It's a force field. <laughs> I noticed that they weren't there, so I thought I could go up that way. Ooh, the lights are on. Lights are on and Alphys... What is- what is Alphys doing? Wait, what? Why are you already here, Metaton? Oh, there you are. You ugly little creature, you've made quite a name for yourself. Well, I mean, killer. That, that's quite a name. Such infamy. I'm impressed. Oh, yes. If you're looking for Alpha, she's not here. While you were busy doing your, uh, <laughs> thing, she was running around evacuating people to safety. Oh, how nice of her. But they will all still die. Her efforts are only futile. Now they're in a place where they'll never get to them, where I will never get to them, deciding not to fight you. My, my, she really is the only smart one, isn't she? Oh, I'm stepping forward, like, oh, how sassy. You're just itching to get your hands on me, aren't you? Well, too bad. This world needs stars more than it needs corpses. Toodles! What? Metaton! You jerk! It's just here to... Con okay, so that... You jerk, Mediton. Can I go in here? See the true lab? Nope. No, I cannot see the true lab. Oh, well. Oh, so yeah. I gotta get it off my chest. Sorry. I, I'm, I know I apologized like a million times before, but I'm sorry that that... Oh, that, I forgot that the music changed. Alright, Vulcan, you're gonna die. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, yeah, like, listen to that. Like, it was so fast and stuff before, now it's just, like, pathetic. Um, but yeah, you gotta apologize, you know, for things turning out not so well with the last video. I honestly, I had, I, I didn't want to spoil any of Undertale for me, and the reason why I'm going around in circles is I'm trying to get a couple of kills here while I'm talking. Um, and you know what, if I find that I'm just stuttering for words, I'll probably cut out, but for the most part, I'll just try to do as much commentary as I can. I want to talk to you guys, so, um, I didn't want to spoil Undertale at all, which was really, really hard. <laughs> I mean, some of it, I, I, I have some inklings about certain things before I started it, and even now, I've got some inklings as to what lies ahead. Oh, I just realized that my exclamation point turned into a smiley face because I want to fight. Ooh, that was good. But I never got to... Gosh, that is just awful. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I didn't look into, um, you know, the endings and how to achieve them and blah de blah de blah I just, you know, if I got stuck, yes, I looked something up, but I only looked up that one thing. I didn't dive any deeper. And I think I only got stuck at... I think that one part where um, where you had to guess the keyboard pattern or whatever it was to get to the one room that's absolutely pointless anyways. Um, so yeah, um, I didn't want to spoil anything and that unfortunately led to me doing an incomplete run because I didn't want to do just, I, I, I wanted to do both extremes. I mean, there's a million different ways that the story I'm sure can actually end um, because I could just kill Alphys, I could just, or not Alphys, I don't think you actually fight her. I could just kill Sans, I could just kill Undyne, I could just kill a single, you know, not, not every single boss. Or I could kill every, uh, I don't remember, Orange's move. Crap, that's right. Ugh, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, uh, there we go. Yeah, I took a little bit of a break because I was on call and all that stuff, so it was actually, it's actually been about technically a week since I last played, um, and I, you know, released my videos on a, on a schedule, so, because I knew that that was coming up and I was going to be, being on call for my job is I am up every single night and still have to go into work every single morning and I get tired. 
uh, really easily. Well, at least that week. Normally, normally it's not that bad, but last week was really bad with night changes. So yeah, I, I knew I had to get some material ready so that way I wouldn't miss anything for you guys. But yeah, I didn't wanna didn't wanna spoil anything f um, for myself or for you guys, so I didn't look into it, which kind of led to my downfall. Um, and I only I only wanted to do the most extreme of the extreme, so the super good and the super bad. I didn't want to do any half half playthroughs because that would just take too long. And I'm sure there's some you know good. Ooh, I leveled up. My level of violence increased. I'm sure there's some good parts you know to it, um, to to the to the intermediate run, but. I mean, to be totally honest, from what I played through of it, I'm, I've said this before and I'll say it again, like, I originally thought that that was the genocide run, and I was like, this is kind of disappointing, not much is changing, I mean, there was a few slight things here and there, but it wasn't exactly worth another entire playthrough, oop, I did not mean to do that, um, it, was, it wasn't worth an entire playthrough to me, whereas this... Things are changing a lot, so this is more worth it, however, it does require a lot of time, and I mean a lot, as I'm sure you're seeing here. Um, you know what, let's let's move forward at this point, because I need to get to a save point to see even just how many more I need to kill. I mean, this is a lot longer area, so I've got more time to, to kill everything. Oh, crap. Double bombs. Oh, oh good grief. Come on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, see, so yeah, I mean, more time to do stuff, but it's still probably more people to kill then. And let me tell you that I, in the last run where I was cutting everything out and stuff like that, the reason why I was so, oh, good grief, I had py pyro, but that's a, that's an annoying, that's an annoying attack to try to dodge, trying to move while it's moving towards you. Uh, oh, hello, ring ring. 33. See, that's how many I've got to kill. And it, you saw how rare they actually occur. It's kind of redonkulous. Um, so anyways. You know, uh, yeah. Uh, crap, I want to get the pan. I want to get the pan, because I'm pretty sure the pan is a... Oh, of course the pan would be attack. Why on earth would the pan be defense? <laughs> I'm carrying too much. Uh, no I ain't. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Crap, Alphys didn't... Mm, drop. Alphys hates me, so she's not gonna give me the phone upgrade. Great. Um, info 10 and heal four more versus my current one, which is seven, so it's a double win for me. Oh boy. Um, the one thing that I say is nice is... Ah, uh, frick. <laughs> I actually kind of wonder, I, I've always wondered if I could actually go that way if anything would happen. Like, if you could. Um, but I, I've noticed that none of the puzzles are activated. So when you're doing the genocide run, this, this non-human killer guy, he doesn't care. See? No puzzles. So he doesn't care about the puzzles, so none of them are active. Um, which kind of lent itself, you know, in the beginning of, uh, press it. Oh, reactive. Oh, oh I see. Um, which kind of lent itself to, you know, when we were with Sans and, um, Papyrus because of thing. Oh, wait, I can just go forward, but let's check to the side because, you know, I might come across some enemies and certain things might be here that I would have missed otherwise. But, yeah, so... It was, it was obvious at the beginning that I wasn't going to be doing puzzles, but it's really actually a time saver given that I have to kill everything so I don't have to worry about these stupid... Hell wow, you guys are early. You're here. So that means Undyne. She's like, Undyne will avenge you. Um, I got a feeling you won't. Sorry, guys. I kind of hope this... Oh, four attacks. Oh, my word. A one, you. Wow. He did not stand a chance. I probably got pissed at him for saying, for mentioning Undyne's name. I'm clenching and unclenching his fists. Well, you'll be um, clenching and unclenching your death. <laughs> I won so hard. 
So hard, yes. Uh, I wonder what's anything here? No? No metaton for me? No metaton at all. Let's go to the table. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's easy. It's just a matter of 31. Jeez. It's going to take a while. I mean, I still got to get through approach to the core and the actual core itself. So this is, you know, I'm only on floor one. I got to go through floor two, floor three, and then the actual core itself. So there's plenty of opportunities to... Oh. Okay, I can just go straight up. Well, that's um easy. I guess I don't have floor two <laughs> and all that other stuff. I've just got floor three. Can I take these? Wait. Oh. No. Because I forget every single time. It looks like a powerful bracelet. Oh, wait. It's just a croissant. I was like, ooh, a powerful bracelet. I could use that since I'm attacking now. Oh, no, I can't because um, freaking just uh, <laughs> just a croissant. Still 31. That hasn't changed. However, I'm going to kill the spider lady. Little spider lady. She going to die. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? <laughs> They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. <laughs> I heard that they hate spiders. Yes, I do. I heard that they love to stomp on them. <laughs> I heard that they like to tear their legs off. Yes, I do. I love to tear the legs off of spiders. Actually, for those of you who don't know me, I heard... What? That they have some awful taste. What a shame. A human comes through and they aren't even fit to be eaten. Oh well, rotten ingredients can always be discarded. <laughs> yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, um, I absolutely hate spiders. Oh, okay. Thought that was going to be a major boss, but Muffet turned out to be nothing. Oh, and the poor little spider, he's like, Mama? I can't get out of here. And then I squish it. I, I squished it. <gasps> oh... Oh, he's... Oh! He's dropping a flower for his dead mommy! Oh my god! He's dropping a flower for his mommy! This is so sad! <laughs> so sad! Oh my goodness. Good grief. Eh, just... Just had to do that, didn't you? It's supposed to be... Yep. Uh, see, because sometimes... My dude will, like, show his true colors and be like, you know, uh, like he did with the, the kid, like, in my way, uh, and all that stuff, but, you know, whatevs. Whatevs. Um, well, crap, I'm already to the hotel, and I've got to kill everything in, hey, go up the creepy alleyway and get some great deals. Ooh, what did these guys have to say to me? Nobody came and stuff, but, like, nobody came. Oh, I guess I can steal? Oh! I didn't know you could steal. Hey, this is Kit. If you're reading this, then, like, bad news, you mega evil weirdo. Alphys just came here, and she's taking us someplace super duper safe. But first, we gotta use up these gel pens. Yeah, chill, Alphys. We don't want to waste pens. And don't even think about stealing your stuff. Yeah, creep, leave our junk alone. Caddy, it's not junk. It's really valuable. Yeah, our garbage is really valuable. Anyway, in closing, you're a total loser. Yeah, loser. Yeah. Signed, Caddy. Braddy. Take. Um... Ooh, I can get an empty gun. Attack up when worn. Ooh, yes. Uh, well, we'll take that. Why not? Uh, oh, I don't have any room. Eh, 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 I hate this. Ballet shoes, we're just gonna drop you. Eh. Okay, so we're gonna take the cowboy hat, yeah. Then we're gonna exit and equip that. Wait, I don't need to take his key. What? I know what that does. I know what that do. Ah, oh, would have. Oh well. I just realized that I could have, in this route, gotten it for free instead of spending all that time freaking farming. But whatever. Um. Oh, see, that makes my attack worse. <laughs> oh, now that I got the attack up. Well, no, it should improve it because it was improved. It's just normal. Uh, whatever. Um. And well, yeah, get that. Um. To take up my last slot. <laughs> Oh boy, this is going to take a while. So, um, you know what? I'm going to, what I'm going to do is we're going to, 
we're gonna explore the the uh, up here a little bit. Anything in here I can use? No, it's still all my old stuff. Because I still have 30, at least the boss has counted, but jeez. Elevator is in, is in use. Oh, isn't working. I thought it said it was in use. <laughs> Why do I always get the freaks? <laughs> and nothing else to do. Oh, <laughs> this is funny. Evacuation, you're yanking my chain, little weirdo. So what if every else left works? So what if nobody's buying anything? Par for the course, little weirdo. Par for the course. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, Manaton didn't tell me I had to work, I guess. But there's that. But that's the thing. Sometimes he doesn't even call me in to work until halfway into my shift. If I don't get it by it safe, he's gonna yell at me. Okay, maybe yell is the wrong term. <laughs> is he like a stoner or like it's just it's more like I don't understand. <laughs> it's entirely full of songs. It's entirely full of songs about how bad I am at my job. Jeez. Huh? Everybody everyone else is dead? Does that mean I don't have to work today? God, that if it were true, little weirdo, that it were true. <laughs> Sorry, little weirdo. Threats don't work on me. I can't go to hell. I'm all out of vacation days. <laughs> oh, retail life. Can't even go to hell. Oh, and he's still gonna charge me stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, hero sandwich. Attack up in battle. Ooh. Ooh, I might actually drop some of my stuff so I can get that. So if I have to heal, I get a little bit of attack up. So we'll drop you, and we will drop junk food. Yeah, I'll go ahead and... Oh, or I used it. Okay, whatever. Either way, it, it gets gone. Bye and bye. <laughs> it gets like, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Alone again. I wonder if this says... Nope, nope, anything there. You know, just gotta, gotta make sure that nothing, you know, else has changed, because I want to make sure... I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything, because I could very easily miss something that is very important. You never know. These things happen all the time. I mean, people play things and they miss... Oh, reminds me of freaking, uh, I'm playing Dark Souls 3 right now, and my... God, it's easy to miss. No answer. Yeah, there won't be. It is so easy to miss so much stuff. First of all, there's walls that you can attack that are really fake walls, so they disappear as soon as you attack them. And there's, like, hidden roots. Sorry, I paused because I had to listen to the music. I can go straight there? Well, that's... <laughs> Well, that's interesting. Uh, no, we're not gonna go straight there. We're going to, um, <laughs> kill some people first. Oh, the trap isn't there. Man, everything's all messed up. But yeah, playing Dark Souls 3, a great game series if you guys haven't played it. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit rage-inducing. Um, <laughs> I know that I have, have rage quit at least probably 10 times since I've started playing Dark Souls 3 <laughs> because it just it gets you it gets you and it is hard and you have to be skilled slash lucky um, it is it's crazy but it's 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 one of those crazy feelings where even though it's so difficult as soon as you accomplish you know as soon as you accomplish something you beat a boss or something uh, leave it. I don't want a glam burger. That doesn't really do much. As soon as you beat a boss or get past a section that you've been trying like ten times over to get through, you feel absolutely awesome finally doing that. And it, it's it's indescribable what that feels like unless you've actually experienced it before. Bye, but woof. Woof, yes, woof. You woof at me. So hopefully this area will be a little bit more lenient in giving me enemies to defeat. Yes, quite. Quite, yeah, see? Here we go. And then hopefully I can just come back to this area and do the exact same thing. Um, I think I'm gonna take out the Mad Jack first, because that guy's annoying. Boom! Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh! Ho! Oh, oh, ho! Oh. Ho! Okay, 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 okay. How did I not get hit by anything? Jeez! Oh, no way, Jose. Sunlight. Oh, 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 you, oh, you. That's, that was actually easy without the other thing there. 
Yeah, and I, I, I figured that you would... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Was not ready for that. Was not ready for that. Um, I figured you'd be a little bit hardier on the health side and defense side. But not too bad so far. But yeah, Dark Souls is one game that I definitely recommend if you have the patience for it. Um, it's 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 an experience, and it, it definitely turns you into a, a better gamer, in my opinion. Like, to me, when one of my old girlfriends, I, I told her, you know, I turned her on to gaming and all the animes and stuff like that, and I was like, you know, you, uh, you aren't really a true gamer until you at least, you know, <laughs> beat Dark Souls. I don't care how long it takes you can take you a while, but, you know, I mean, yeah, you're a true gamer, but I just kind of said that. <laughs> but I mean, seriously, the, the game is, is you, you gotta be a real gamer in order to beat that game, so I guess that's kind of what I was getting at. Like, you can't just be some random casual just taking on that game, because it's, it's difficult, it's time-consuming, and uh, it'll definitely test your patience and your skills. Oh my gosh, how many butterflies you got, Wimsalot? There we go. Got to do. Ooh, I leveled up. Yeah. What was over here for? I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh uh, well, let's just go back in really quick and see if I can cause them to spawn again. Cause if so, oh no, not if so. They don't respawn, guys. So it was like what six of the thirty that I needed. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, so, uh, more stuff to talk about would be what's inside here. 100G. Yes, I got 100G. Is there anything more? Oh, it's just an empty trash can at this point. Um, so I'm thinking about, um, because I already started Dark Souls 3 before I got my game capture card, so I'm sorry I, I couldn't do anything like that. If you guys want me to, like, either pick up where I am, which is unfortunately somewhat close to the end, um, or... Uh, but, but, but it said pick on me. I, well, I'm I'm picking on you by killing you. Um, so if you want me to pick it up where I am, I, I guess I can do that. Um, or if you want me to pick it up when I try a new game plus, I can do that too. 22 left. Oh my word, this is going to take forever. So I'll get through my little bit of commentary and then whatever I have left I'll do in the background. And then, um, yeah, we will fight Mediton. So this will be a longer episode, but no biggie. We're, no, we're in no hurry. We're, we're really far in. You know, it took me 22, 20, what, 22, 23 episodes to beat it on the Pacifist run, and we're only like 5, 6 in here to beat the Genocide run. It goes a lot faster, so no, no, no big deal. Um, oh, that was bad. I need to get better at that, otherwise I'm not going to beat any, any, uh, any of them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so what I'm thinking about doing is, out, outside of if you guys want me to do Dark Souls, leave that in the comments, um, but, yeah, I'm thinking about doing, um, because I don't have many more Xbox or PlayStation games that are, you know, good to do a series on, is actually, I've got a huge uh, collection of retro games. And so I'm thinking about doing something like that. So um, if you have any suggestions, leave them below. I mean, if I don't have it, I'd be, you know, I'll, I'll look into it and see whether it's worth buying or not. Um, and if I do have it, then yeah, I'll do it. Um, but I've got literally every single console besides the original Xbox and the Atari 2600. So you don't have to worry about what consoles I do or don't have. Um, I think I only need to like get a new uh, new memory card for my PS2 or something. So, you know, a few 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 things here and there. But I have all the consoles and they're all working. You know, just got a couple games. Maybe I'll list a few of them so you guys can vote. Um, but I'm thinking about you know if you guys don't mention anything, starting off with a um, 120 star Mario 64 run. Maybe I don't know. That that might be a little bit hard. Um, that or uh, doing a playthrough of one of two of my um, games that really got me into like hardcore gaming. Um, and that would be Phantom Brave for the PS2, um, which is a... Um, uh, uh, can't even talk right now. <laughs> it's a... What, what am I thinking of? It's... 
it's a it's a it's a turn-based strategy there we go um one of the older ones for the ps1 um no 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 i'm thinking of the other one <laughs> so so there's <laughs> i can't talk i'm sorry guys i'm like focusing on too many things right now my 80 ADD is getting the better of me um the uh the not kingdom hearts jeez because the other game I'm thinking of is Vandal Hearts, which is a turn-based strategy for the PS1. Um, and the other game I was talking about, Phantom Brave, for the PS2 is also a turn-based strategy. So I really lack my turn-based strategies. Sorry, sorry guys. Um, but I don't know. Like, they they were the first games that I, that I played that required more than just, you know, an hour or two of my time. Like, they actually took, you know, an actual effort and, you know in some cases work because I had to grind or you know strategize to actually beat some of the bosses um, so yeah I'm thinking about that so you guys can see where I came from um, and also uh, uh, Vandal Hearts is uh, one of the actually the first game I played with permadeath so if one of your character dies bye-bye mm, <laughs> kind of like a Oh wait, no, that's because it was, I think it was a success, or uh, a predecessor to, what's that mobile game that's turn-based that also has permadeath, I can't think of it. It's, it, they're, the fighters are in Smash Bros, Ike, and, um, all of them. Wow, I am, I am bad with remembering stuff while I'm trying to commentate while playing a game. <laughs> that's not, <laughs> not good. I, I know what I'm talking about. It's not like I'm, I'm, I'm stupid or, well, maybe I, I probably am stupid. Um, and I have it for my freaking DS. Good grief. Whatever. The, the game uh, that, that I'm sure all of you are screaming at the top of your lungs, smacking your computer screen, probably unsubscribing my channel <laughs> because I can't think of the name right off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, so it, it, it was a predecessor to that game. Um, with with Ike and all of them, I, I don't know. But anyways, I'm thinking about doing that, um, or maybe be. Um, well, yeah, they're they're decent story games, so those would be a good ones to do runs with. I was thinking originally that they weren't a good story game, so maybe something like Kingdom Hearts or or a different PS2, PS1, N64, GameCube, whatever, whatever floats your boat or my boat. Depends on if you guys give me any suggestions or not. Um, yeah, so that's more or less all that I've got to say at the moment. We've definitely been talking for quite a while. Um, so I'm just going to finish up these last few baddies. Um, I think we only probably got, like, what, ten left? Um, and then we will go ahead and fight Metaton if he's fightable. I imagine he is because we fought every single boss, but... Um, we fought every single boss, but some of them weren't fought because they were just one-hit KOs. So yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. <clears throat> oh, there we go, guys. So, we got through all of them. So let's see what awaits for us with Metaton. Ooh, hello. My, my, so you finally arrived. After our first meeting, I realized something ghastly. You're not just a threat to monsters, but humanity as well. Oh my, that's an issue. You see, I can't be a star without an audience. And besides, there are some people I want to protect. Who do you want to protect, huh? Ha ha ha, eager as always, huh? But don't touch that dial, there's something you haven't accounted for. As any true fan would know, I was first created as a human eradication robot. It was only after becoming a star that I was given a more photogenic body. However, those original functions have never been fully removed. Come any closer and I'll be forced to show you my true form. Fine then. Ready? It's showtime! Oh, yes! <laughs> First time that happened. Oh, Metaton Neo! Holy crap! Okay. 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 Um, so this is gonna be a harder boss. Oh my word. So, I'm... No, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be harder! I was 
ready for it. I was so ready for it. Because he had a different look and Undyne had a different look. So I was so ready for it to be a hard boss battle. Oh my gosh. G Guess you don't want to join my fan club. And he just blows up. Oh my gosh, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching, even though that was a bit of a bit of a letdown to be totally honest. Um <laughs> I guess we'll see what um what everybody has in store for us at the end here because we're we're basically there um so <laughs> yeah. uh to be honest i'm kind of disappointed I, I was ready i was ready for a good good metaton fight but that, that didn't happen that didn't happen so uh yeah we will go ahead and save here uh castle elevator so yeah there's there's no more killing that's needed in this area because it didn't give me a kill count and if I remember correctly, I didn't get random encounters here, so it's just straight on forward. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed my commentary. If you had any suggestions for anything that I mentioned, leave a comment below. Give me a like if you, uh, and I might consider that a like for some of what I said. <laughs> um, and anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. We're almost there. Alright, see you later. Bye.